Well then, the Academy Awards. I was a little pleased. A little pissed. Like every year. Yeah, fuck it. Who cares? We're just going to list off the people who won, and we're just going to give you a quick little reaction. Our to opinions. It. Our opinions and our also like recreations of our reactions at the time. All right, so here we go. Okay, so the best short films and documentary we did not watch, so we really can't. Best documentary, uh, yeah, everyone was talking about Citizen Kane, so. Citizen Earth? I mean, Citizen Kane? Six. Citizen Four. C Citizen Four. Citizen Kane. Citizen Kane. Everyone was Should talking about Citizen Kane. Sure, should have been Citizen Kane, Citizen Four, yeah. Slappy. We're, we're gonna talk more about the, you know, the, the bigger ones. Sorry. So, best makeup, costume, and set design. Grand Budapest. As expected. And, come on. But, what, I, what more do you need? I mean, I mean it's, it's what Wes Anderson is known for. It's like the first thing you think of when you think of his movies. Essentially. And he always knocks out of the fucking park, and it's always just intricate, and it's always very, very well done. So, yeah, I mean, if you thought it was this anyone is, else. This isn't a shocker. Yeah. But... I mean, we were laughing when, when it was like, uh, uh, Theory of Everything! Da -da -da. We were like, like, yeah, what are you doing? Into the woods! They're, they're Get out of here! Grand fucking Budapest. Don't and compete. He fucking deserves it. Alright, let's, let's just do all the sounds just at one part. So, best sound mixing, whiplash. Good on ya, mate! Fuck yeah. Best sound editing, American Sniper. But, well, you just it had to win something. No, it didn't even deserve to be here. God no. We'll, just we'll get to that later. Yeah. Fuck. Sound though. We're black. You deserve it. Best visual effects. Again, I have not seen this film, but Interstellar. Did you think it was gonna be anything else? I mean, yeah. what, what else was on the, was on the agenda? No, no, yeah. and no, and no. Well, the only what? No, the close second was Rise of the Planet of the Apes because mocap. Oh, yeah. That mocap yeah. was beautiful. Yeah, yeah. Andy Serkis did a great fucking job, but um, Interstellar broke new ground. Yeah, and the combination of visual or of uh, practical effects. I mean, the use of models, which is what I want. Was great, exactly. I mean, I, I, only, I can only hope that the makes new, it look more real. Exactly. Yeah, the, the, like the new Star Wars. The all sci-fi movies that have a budget should be mixing the two. Yeah, Edit, or CGI should just only be there to you know, for touch-ups, not the main fucking thing. Yeah. Best cinematography, Birdman. Jivo! Fucking Emmanuel Lubezki. I'm sorry, but that whole fucking movie seems like it's all one long take. That takes precision, that takes fucking. Oh, that precise camera. God it damn it. So it's, 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 again, did you think anything else was gonna win? Of course, except for, you know, maybe Interstellar, but that's not the. the no. No, 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 yeah. At least in my opinion. They, I they always say no directors. Good without the, his cinematographer and fucking Emmanuel Lubezki's top of his fucking game. Yeah, and Birdman. I mean, yeah, he won for Gravity already, and there was other guys that you know, maybe, but no. He, once again, he's proven he's he's the probably he's one of the best cinematographers that he like alive right now. Yeah, hell yeah, I agree. I'm sure, Gordon Willis would agree. Recipes. Okay, so Hans Zimmer, all right, even Hans Zimmer's probably like, all right, fuckers, can you just I stop? He has enough. Yeah, he's got enough, and you know what? Grand Budapest knocked it out of the fucking park. Oh, it's so catchy. It's and so like catchy, it's just, it brings, unique. it's yeah. unique, and without it, we wouldn't get the vibe. It, it makes this whole beautiful tone, and it like, it just mesmerizes you. Without it, it would just be just a quirky movie, but with it, it's a beautifully crafted masterpiece. It's like all these pieces, it needs all the pieces to make, you know, fucking sense. It's the only thing, like, Wes Anderson can't do himself, like, he can't, like, visualize what the music's gonna sound like. It, and they knocked it out. It takes it to that next. Yeah, yeah. They, they made it. They made it. <clears throat> Glory, from Selma. I like the performance. I Good haven't performance. seen the movie. Yeah, I haven't seen the movie either, so. I mean, sure, yeah. These, these are pretty much the reactions we have. We're like, oh, okay, cool. Yeah. That's, I mean. So it kind of felt like they were giving themselves an award because they performed, and then they were like, "Oh, by the way, I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah." <laughs> Again, no yeah, problem. Good with for them. them. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Whiplash. <laughs> that yeah. Holy God. There was, uh, and I know hey, directors hate this, but uh, there was someone was comparing. Um, 
Someone told Damien Chazelle that he was the new Scorsese. Well, ignore what you think about that. He kind of was just like, oh, okay, but... It's like, oh, thank you. But, but uh, my, my point is, like, what's Scorsese known for? His editing, that fast-paced editing. That's what this movie was about. The fucking tight editing. Hell yeah, dude. This movie was just... It, it was... Like, like I said before in my last video, it had me on the edge of my seat, and it's because it's just the... It's the quick cuts and, like, the long, overdrawn shots, and it's just, it just perfectly, tightly paced. And it honestly... Is a fucking thrill ride, like what you said. It's a thriller. It feels like a thriller, yeah. Really, it feels like a like a Brian De Palma movie or something. Fuck you! Boo! No! No! Boo! No. And okay, here, two two things. One, okay, uh, Dragon Two was beautiful. Princess Kaguya. Kaguya. Somebody give Ghibli a fucking break. Yeah, god damn it. Just just fucking something, please. But what happened to movies not looking like other movies and then we gave them awards and, and, for that? And here's the thing, I understand Lego Movie. If Lego Movie fucking won it, I would not complain. Lego Movie was fucking amazing. But really, they had a fucking shoehorn that fucking Big performance Heroes. just to piss everyone off. It was like, oh, I didn't make it to the Oscars. But here's a fucking performance for the Disney fucking movie. Wins again. The movie that you really love. Like, fuck you. Fuck you. Dude, my little, my, my fucking 13 year old sister was even like, eh, it was alright. But Dragon, but Kaguya, but Lego Movie. Like, it's, it's just adding, like, okay, Lego Movie does not get fucking nominated. But we're gonna perform it? Fuck you. No. Just fucking horseshit. Ugh. Rant over. Best foreign language film. Didn't see any of these. No, no, I keep seeing pictures of Ida on the internet. It looks really good, so good for you. I, yeah, I, I need to really watch more foreign films. I mean, here's the thing. I've been watching a lot of foreign films, but you know, the, the past. Yeah. Well, but, they don't come our way as often as I'd like. Yeah, true. Yeah. true. When they're newer, they, they don't come our way that often. But yeah. they, they, these seem like films like I would like to, you know, enjoy. They the all future. look pretty good. Yeah. In the future. Yeah. Also, I, I wanted uh, uh, Canada's nominated Mommy by uh, Xavier Dolan. That didn't even get a nomination. Yeah. But yeah, it looked good. So, I don't know. Hopefully, if he won at cons, maybe he'll get one another time. Moving on. Best original screenplay. Okay. That, that best of fucking original. It's 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 per it was written beautiful. Yeah. And holy crap, you know, I was goddamn the story just really just immerses you and you really root for this character and it's great. And those long like dialogue speeches but, from every character fucking written that, so goddamn well. Must have been like an actor's dream to do those parts. Everyone just has this big fucking meaty chunk to say the whole movie. Hell yeah. And you know what? It deserves everything it gets. Mm. Best adapted screenplay, Imitation Game. Uh, I, 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 I have no, <laughs> I, yeah, I, I have nothing to say about this. You, you guys. It was no, it was harsh. It was harsh. The, the two I, I swore it was going to be. It was. It, it had to be either Inherent Vice or 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 Whiplash. The ones I wanted to win. Not this Oscar bait movie. I'm sure, it's a good movie and blah blah blah. And you know, and that guy's speech was really heartfelt the, about the suicide thing. But uh, yeah, it's a Thomas Pynchon book, and it's written by Paul Thomas Anderson. Someone give the guy a break. Give him a fucking Oscar. I don't. I don't think he was even at the award show. I don't think he showed up. He was just like, they're not gonna give it to me because fuck them. I don't know the story behind that. I don't know the politics behind that. Imitation game. Eh. Rant over. <laughs> yeah. Dude, and anyone else, I would have been pissed. He pissed. was my number one pick, and you know what? Just he oh. fucking should be for you. And you know what? Ah, uh, it, it just, just J.K. Fucking finally, like he's we've loved oh. this guy since Pete and Pete. <laughs> the, Joe, the damn it, Bob the Barber. Bob the Barber. I don't know. Uh, we'll we'll, we'll shoot. just yes, he deserved this uh, so much. I mean, I remember more from J. Jonah Jameson, but that's not the point. Yeah. J.K. Simmons. Fucking knocks out of the park, and he yeah. really makes me fucking terrified it's of that. him. Holy shit! I was just cringing the whole time. That movie was awesome, and he fucking goddamn nipped this <laughs> in the butt. Oh, I'm sorry. Is that ranked off? What? Look, 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 I, I love Patricia Arquette, but... And she, her role was even, like, it wasn't bad. No, it just, but she it's didn't just do like, much. Like, what, 
It's like here. Dude. Wait, can I get an Oscar? Put put that back. Uh, well, you did the whole movie. Out of out of all the fuck, out of all five, the other four deserved it way more. Meryl Streep, of course. I mean, she, yeah. I mean, we were like, we were joking around like, oh, Meryl Streep's like, Meryl Streep's like, guys, I have three. Can you stop fucking nominating? Yeah, no me more alone. Oscars. It's just like leave me alone. But she deserved it more than Patricia. Kett. But really. Even I was like, Emma Stone was, you know, like the fucking... Like we were saying earlier, meaty, meaty fucking chunks that Emma Stone had to... All the speeches she had to give in this movie, all the long talking. Yeah, but she was the underdog. Like, yeah, If still. she would have won, I would have been like, fuck yeah. Been, yeah any, for any other of these would have fucking been great. Marion, fucking... Just, well, oh yeah, I expected Laura Dern. Yeah, oh yeah, Laura Dern was the... I thought that was a fucking shoot. That was that, fucking that's what everyone been talking about, Laura Dern. But no, it ended up being... I mean, it's not that like her... like Again, her, her role wasn't bad, it's just like... Is that the only one that boyhood won? Yeah, which is also, yeah. we'll get to that later. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, at first, I was like, the fuck. Yeah. But, you know what? He does it. Oh, yeah. He does. I mean, personally, I was more of a Michael Keaton. I was on the Michael Keaton side, too. But, you know, he, fine. I'm 100% fine with it. And, you know, he had a great speech, and I, I can't, I mean, I can't act mad to a guy who's just more giddy about fucking getting a, he, he got the fucking Oscar. Yeah, he earned it. How happy he yeah, was? Yeah, he was fucking ecstatic. And he earned it. Like, he fucking earned it. He gave me, like, he made me happy. Like, I, at that moment in time, I fucking just, you know, my fucking bias aside, like, he deserved it. Good for him. Holy shit. Good for Aaron. Yeah! I was saying... Who was I saying? Hold on. Who were you saying? I was thinking either... Oh no, sorry, Marianne's fucking... Sorry, I, I made a mistake. Should we say over? No, 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 it's fine. I made a mistake. I, I said Marianne was for supporting actress. My bad. She's for actually for main actress. Yeah. But mine, I thought, would be Rosamund Pike. And I, I, even I knew it was a long shot, but that's the one I kind of wanted to win. But She was cool. No, yeah. but dude, Julianne Moore deserved this so much. I mean, like, every role she's ever... She's my favorite actress. Always has been. Just fucking... Just finally. All right, just fucking by She's about to cry on stage, like you know, you like me, you really like me. Yeah, I was, I was hoping she wouldn't do that. I'm like, don't, don't do that. Every role she's ever done has been leading up to this award. I mean, she, I don't know, if she's, she she's earned it for her career like ten years ago. Yeah, and she fucking finally got it. So good God for damn. her. Yeah, fuck yeah, Julianne. Best director. I have no complaints. I have no problem. But I fucking honestly thought that Linklater was gonna win this. Yeah, well, I know I did too. I, I, I thought he was gonna win this because you know the ingenuity and the fucking you know this this you know, the whole he, film. He filmed the movie over twelve years, but but I, and I have no problem with this stuff. But again, Interrotu is great. Yeah, but Birdman was phenomenal. Birdman was beautiful. Fucking yeah. well crafted, beautifully shot, well paced, well everything. Movie was just perfect in my eyes. Yeah, and I have no complaints mm. with this. I thought it was going the other way, but. It's yeah. not a bias. It's just I thought it was gonna go that way. I really, I really want to link that to win just because I think he deserves it, um, and I think he won the Golden Globe for it. So everyone was like, "Oh, he's definitely got it." Oh yeah. Well, um, I mean, they, not that they ever. They usually do it. Yeah, they bet. It's, it's, it's very weird. Cold. They're very weird. What the fuck they do? It's it's but true. Birdman. But so yeah, good for Inarato. Again. Best picture, American Sniper. What the fuck? Why was it on this list? Period. I had, okay, I'm not, that's not that's not the winner. Sorry, I, I, I mean it, I didn't mean to you know throw you off there, but didn't deserve to be on this fucking list. Period. Easy. What you were saying? What they they have what ten? Oh, they have fucking ten slots, to, and that gets thrown in in the mix. And they, and they, they by the way, uh, what that's two slots missing. Only eight nominees this year. So who's missing? Nightcrawler. Nightcrawler, and I don't know. Anyone could have. Uh, 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 most violent year you could. I mean, all those movies that you could have given the at least the honor of a nomination for. It's retarded. It's it's horseshit. Now, negative things aside, Birdman, Alejandro, and that good for him. Good for him. I, part of me was like, he got the director award, so maybe I, I wanted Boyhood to win, but no, he Birdman, a fucking great yeah. movie. God damn. Uh, there was that little tiny part of me that oh, really wanted Whiplash. Yeah, to win. you know what? I would have gone either way, because for me. Because I know on the list they're right behind each other, but now personally they're right fuck. They're like neck and neck. Those films are like perfect. Just fucking great. Yeah, yeah. I I don't know. There's part of me that that was like my favorite movie of the year. So. Oh god. I really like you know I was really biased, but. Whiplash is fantastic. Whiplash, but Birdman. Birdman won. Fucking me. Birdman deserved it. it. Yeah. Woo! 
fucking yeah, dude. I, I feel like you know, just putting on a fucking sombrero and just starting to dance around. It's a little, I mean, you know what? Hey, hey, the, the, the top three Mexican fucking directors have won it, man. That's true. Guillermo, Alfonso, oh, fuck yeah, fuck yeah. Now, um, we're gonna go on a little rant here. That's, that's pretty much us listing all of them mostly. I mean, we're gonna probably list them down in the description, anyways. I mean, if you haven't fucking checked on Google, I don't know why you haven't, but. Um, yeah, Nightcrawler, what the fuck? It, it was only nominated for one thing, and that was for Best Screenplay? Yeah. Uh, wh why? Like we were saying earlier, they had more slots for the Best Picture. And didn't you have oh, Best and, and Director? Actor. And at best least a actor. nomination. At least a fucking nomination. Jake Gyllenhaal fucking deserves a nomination, because goddamn, dude. dude. That was like, that was this year's, I don't know, Taxi Driver or something. You, yeah, you it was fucked up, and I loved it. And you didn't fucking... Oh my the god. The transformation he went through, he's so creepy as Lou Bloom in that movie. Oh shit. You dude. didn't even fucking You know what? If he would have been in that race, I would have been like, I don't know. The Oscars are always bullshit. They are. But they're always I mean, it's it's really fucking weird. Like, like, oh they didn't fucking go for what I want. It's like it's it, people are always fucking, you know, bipolar about this kind of shit. Yeah. This year, I'm more happy about shit, but nomination wise, they really fucked a lot of people. They really did. Winners? They, they right. did, all right, Most but them, yeah. nominations, they fucked the Lego movie, they fucked Foxcatcher, wait, not, not Foxcatcher, sorry, Nightcrawler, and what else did they fuck over? There's some, oh yeah, uh, Most Violent Year. Oh. Most Violent Year, which snuck its way in, I mean, uh, well, what, kind, what kind of shit is this? Bullshit, that's what it is. Just, oh, and then, uh, what well, I can't, but, uh, what is it? Inherent Vice? Mm -hmm. saying? No. Inherent Vice 2 also got snubbed, but I have to cut to this. Da, 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 da. Oh, okay. No. Oh. Yeah, and also fucking Force Majeure. Have you guys seen the video of the director crying when they announced the uh, best foreign film? They didn't even get nominated? Dude, that movie is fucking blowing up. Nothing? But, like we said, the Oscars are bullshit. Bullshit. Well, it's not their bullshit. It's just they're really cool to, you know, allow you to see, like, oh, that's that movie got that Oscar, blah, blah. Yeah, Oscars really don't mean shit. There's the but they're a great honor to win. It, yeah. It's it's very wishy washy. I don't, I don't I don't know how to see it. It's like, of course like oh we'll never fucking win. So, yeah, but you know it's just cool to think about. Like people are always like, you know, placing, have, placing have, bets and like we always have to try a competition to everything. Yeah. Yeah, it's like we always make we're fucking human. But like it's always fun to like look at this shit. It, it it gives us reason to watch the damn Oscars. It's like oh I want them to win. I said like, fuck. But like it's it's always great to talk about it later on. It's always it's always a great watch. Yeah. And but. This year, again, was okay for winners. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm surprised, because yeah. last year was a fucking travesty for winners, usually. Except yeah, yeah. for, of course, you know... I mean, I didn't think Gravity won. Deserve all those fucking awards. Yeah, I did. But, Best Actor? Alright. Best Picture? Good. But, other than that, I mean, the Oscars should not be taken so fucking seriously. Well, like, uh... But, at the same time, they should. It's very... It's, it's very... It's, weird. you know... Uh, so I don't know. Someone once said that uh, the you know the, the Oscars aren't the fucking Super Bowl. It's not like someone wins and then you know like Inaratu was saying in his speech. Uh, it's, it's you know it's not the stupid award that makes a movie you know stand the test of time. It's just time. It's just being around. So these movies they're all going to be cult. You know all the good ones are going to be cult classics and blah blah blah. And we're all going to watch them for the next four hundred years if we're still alive. Um, or humans. Anyway, where am I going? I don't know. But we'll just finish this thing up. That, that's the whole list. Uh, and if you want to, if you want to see like our my own personal favorites, uh, I'll leave a you know links in the end. Usually in like, these videos, and I'll have you know like my top twenty best movies twenty fourteen. See, 1994 was an amazing year for film, and people have you know said that's the best year of film. Well, I'm saying that 2014 rivals that year. Am I gonna say it's the best? No, but 2014. Was a shitty year for video games, but for movies, holy crap! Got some good shit. There were some amazing movies, and if you haven't seen anything that came out this year, my god, get on it, please. Watch everything that's on our list. Well, like, comment, subscribe, and to see you in 2015. We're already here. Oh, see you in 2016, but for 2015. No, where's that? Where's the thing? What's that? Oh. Yeah. Oh yeah, you we gotta go. That. We gotta go rob a 7-Eleven. Excuse me. <laughs>